Settlers of Catan is one of the best-selling board games of all time. And nestled in the rolling hills of Rossdorf, Germany, on this picturesque street, past the buzzer in Building 43, and standing in the back of the garden, is Klaus Tuber, the man who made it all happen. Settlers of Catan is a board game for up to four players where you collect resources to build settlements and cities. They're worth points, first to ten wins. And it all started like this. In the 90s and 80s, uh, I led a dental laboratory. Developing games was a little bit a uh, refuge for me. His first game was called Barbarossa. When I made uh, Barbarossa, I was in my early 30s. I feel that this is a kind of thing I like very much, uh, developing games, and it could be in the future for me uh, a very, very good hobby. He designed a handful of other games and then made Catan. Klaus had become interested in Viking tales. Yes, uh, the story of the Vikings inspired me. I imagine how they reach Iceland. They need wood, they need houses and all the things. And so on this imagination, uh, I developed Catan. From design to market, it was a family affair. This is Benny Tuber. He lives in Germany and he is Klaus's youngest son. And this is Guido Tuber. <clears throat> and this is Guido Tuber. He lives in San Francisco. He is Klaus's eldest son. In my family, I am one of the game testers along with my mom. Me too. We play tested the Settlers of Catan quite often. We would all get together at the dining room table and would test and has, has games. Sometimes he put a Mickey Mouse comic next to my chair, so in case the game was boring, he knew that I would read it instead of playing the game. My dad took that and tweaked it, worked on it. This was sort of an exciting moment for my dad. In the Tuber family, there's a bit of competition. My father would probably say I'm the best player. No. Sorry, Dad. Benny is the best. Mm. There's a bit of a rivalry between my dad and my brother. <laughs> Catan was officially released in Germany in 1994, and it was an immediate success. We had an immediate success in Germany because we won uh, Game of the Year. Worldwide, to date, over 24 million copies have been sold. This game was born out of a story, but it also create stories. The beauty of Catan is that in the end you still have constructed something. So in a way everybody wins. It uh, was my wish to have a very peaceful game with a lot of interaction, bringing people together. For me Catan was a success. To all the Catan fans out there, here's some advice. Well, you always have to follow your strategy, but also you have to complain quite a bit. Even though you know you're winning, you still have to say you're not. I love building cities as early as possible in the game. Never build the longest road at the beginning. And there you have it.